Good evening everyone, it's Heather again, and I'm going to cook something entirely new. Now this doesn't exactly have a name, it's just experimental cooking, which makes me quite an interesting home cook. But I've already started by putting pans on the stove. I'm going to start by sauteing, by putting some butter, or some margarine, sorry, into a pan and letting it just melt, and then I'm going to saute some vegetables. Do that. And then I'm going to tear open, well, you know what, first of all, I'm going to start by browning the crap out of some hamburger that I put in the thought. Some Walmart extra green, extra lean ground beef, just for browning. Look at that! Isn't that really good frozen ground beef? Now it's frozen, so it'll take a while. But, I don't see anything wrong with making frozen meat. Now while that thaws, let's put a little lid over that. While that thaws and that butter's doing, that butter's melting. We're going to take out our stovetop stuffing, which is also going to be part of this stew. We're going to pop it open with a knife, and we're going to put it in here. And guess what we're going to do with this? Hmm? We're going to add water and butter to it. Or margarine, sorry. Just toss in a huge amount of margarine. A little bit of butter. And there we have cooking dishes. get out a wooden spoon to deal with the stuffing because it's so resilient and so stubborn. And it's honestly, like stuffing is actually a very stubborn food. Stuffing is, stuffing is really a very stubborn food. We just got to make sure all the butter is stirred in there. We only need one thing of stuffing because we're going to have hamburger as well. We don't need the butter anymore. We have to be very, very careful because we don't want to burn ourselves. And now we're going to chop up some very nice mushrooms and peppers, which are clean. Well, I think the mushrooms need to be washed, but we can do some peppers first. How yummy that is. Yes, there's some seeds on the peppers, and yes, my mother has repeatedly given me grief about having the seeds on the peppers as I was growing up. But you know what? She's probably right about the seeds. They're spicy, but I'm just not going to get rid of them. 
I mean, there's no need. There's really no need to get rid of the seeds tonight because I'm the only one eating it. Now, if I were feeding other people, I'd get rid of the seeds because they are quite spicy for others' palates, and it's not fair to make them. And see, look at that, it's sauteing nicely. And see, we've got a huge little mushroom right here, and we're going to wash it and make sure it's all clean. We're going to wash the board as well. Make sure it's clean, and we're going to give it a quick dry. And we're also going to do a quick rinse with the knife. And then, because I mean, you know, Master Chef is about home cooks, and I don't know if I'll ever get on Master Chef, but you know what? It's fun just cooking. And how carefully these mushrooms are being chopped. These mushrooms, they're very, very interesting. We're going to. We're just dicing them into the tiniest little squares because they're attractive mushrooms, yes, but they're easier to eat in pieces. Now we're just going to toss those in. And we're also going to see if we can get this meat into the pot. Not quite yet. So we're just going to put that there and we're going to just keep doing Honestly, I think we need more peppers, so we may need one more. Although peppers are a real, real pain in the butt to chop. Peppers are really a pain in the butt to chop. Give it a quick dry. Because there's so many seeds. bad. I didn't know I could actually do that. So they're tossed in the garbage because we've got to keep our special meat, meat, meat. And there we go. Get the tag off of here. These peppers are tagged and that's really annoying. The tag is really just kind of cut off and or take off and You see, this is how you chop a pepper. Of course, it's a little big. So we'll just divide that. Really, just 
They're interesting saute. I don't know if you've ever had a sauteed pepper, but they're very interesting. And this knife is not really as good as it would be, so I'll just get a new one. much better. Push this to the side for now. I'm chopping three little peppers at once because it really just it saves time and energy especially when I'm cooking for myself because it's it gets hot in this kitchen and it's already hot outside so you don't want to stay out here for long especially so in Alberta And there we just add it to the pot and let it all chill out in the saute. I think we've done enough peppers. Might do one more small mushroom. Here's a small mushroom. It's not as um elegant as the eggs. But this dish will turn out well, I'm hoping. And I didn't wash my knife. Oops. We need to always keep ourselves... <clears throat> we always need to keep our cooking tools clean. our cooking tools clean and tidy because they I'm not a chef but for home cooks to really keep it under wraps. And there we have it. We are done with the vegetables. So they go back in the crisper ready to use for another day. And now we're done with our knife. And we need to also Always, 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 always clean up our messes. Because how can... How can we call ourselves... How can I call myself a home cook if I cook like a slob and leave a mess, huh? I can't. So now let's just... Let's put our... Let's ring on our cloth. Make it all nice and neat. And now let's check on our food. This is coming along nicely, this burger. So I'll just push it off into the pan so it will cook. See, it's just simply all falling off as it cooks. It's just coming off nicely. It's just coming off all nicely and nice and neat. I hope you're seeing this. And the stuffing, see, is just coming along very, very kindly. And the peppers are also coming along very nicely as well. And there we go. We pushed the meat into the pot. And now we can cover it with a lid. Not all the way though, so it, it can escape. But we can
can turn it up a little bit too. Not all the way to medium, otherwise it's going to be bloody brutal. But now we have our stuffing, and it's getting borderline finished. I think we've always got to taste. Yeah, that's done. Stuffing is done, which is progress, because I wasn't expecting it to be done so soon. So we'll just turn off our burner for the stuffing and just plop it in there. And we're just making sure we have no waste. And there's the stuffing. Hold on. And see this pan go a little crispy. Ah. So we're just gonna toss it in here. We're gonna toss it in the thing. Pour it, cool it down with some soap. We're gonna let it soak for a while. And there we have it. There's part of our food done now. Now, now, now. Now we've got the stuffing ready. And now I think... Because see, look at that. This is being sautéed. No idea if this is done or not. Check. Maybe a little more time. Mushroom still has some rusticness to it, so we'll just leave it. But the meat, we've got to turn our attention to the meat. It's cooking ever so nicely now. I'm going to try and flip it over. It's not working, not yet even. No. I just flip it over, push it back. Back into the pan and just by the pot and just forget the mess. But that's what you get when you cook is a mess. Fortunately, we know how to clean messes up, don't we? For now, we're going to wash this. We're going to wash this cutting board. And just have it out of the way. And that's one last dish we have to wash at the end. The sauteing of these vegetables is very, very Now let's taste it again. That's more like it. Now you don't want to let these sit in the butter too long because then then they'll never want to come out. So what we do...
we do. It's just. As we bring it over here, see, look how nice those peppers and mushrooms look. We just dump it in here and let the, the butter that's still leaking off of the peppers and mushrooms leak into the stuffing and we have flavor. Yeah, it'll be a nice little dish when I'm done, I'm hoping. Now we've got to wash this off right away. We've got to wash that off right away because we do have hamburger coming in. And we don't wish to have cross contamination. We're going to wash all our dishes in the sink first. And just make sure there's not got to wait for the burger because the rest of it's ready. It's very, I mean, I was going to use froze, a bag of frozen veggies, but I think fresh ones sauteed in margarine with hydrogenated oil. Non-hydrogenated. It's very, very, it's much healthier and it has a better look to it. So we're just waiting for the burger now and it's taking forever. You know what? It'll be so worth it. And you know, I can always use the bag of veggies another time. I like to use both because they're both healthy. Veggies in general are healthy. Whoops, and I'm flicking more out of the pan. to do now is made oh yes and I almost forgot we're gonna add beans to it six beans they have 25% iron and they've got all these nutrients that are very essential yes they're a, they're a tiny bit fatty but not bad but they're just gonna make really good to the dish so we're gonna add that while we're waiting for the meat and it's got like Mixed dry beans, chickpeas, red kidney beans, black eyed peas, white kidney beans, Romano beans, baby lima beans, water salt, all the normal things. But they're still healthy whether or not they come from a can. And you know what we're going to do to make it interesting? We're going to add the bean stock to the hamburger and see what that does. Dropped a couple beans in there, but that's all right.
There we go. We're going to add that. Clean up our station, the workstation. Wash the can opener and put it to dry. What we're going to do is toss this with a spoon and make sure everything gets mixed in evenly. And it's looking interesting. There, have a look. It's looking interesting. Mmm, it smells interesting. I'll set it in. See how the burger's coming? Still cooking. In the meantime, we'll clean up our station as much as we can. And then, oops. Still, it's a large portion. Oh, well, there we go. Now it's breaking up all evenly. Imagine this used to be frozen. This was just frozen like an hour ago, but I put it in some water, thought it out a bit, and now I'm breaking it into bits. With bean, with six bean, with bean stuff to flavor it. I mean, I'm hoping it tastes good. I've never done this. We'll just keep an open mind, shall we? I'm not sure with what. But let's try some oregano. One. And some dillweed. something ridiculous in it. But yeah, that's what it looks like so far. Imagine what it'll look like when it has a hamburger in it. I'm excited to see. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm Scottish, but I don't know how to make like haggis or anything, so I just experiment. And yes, I know what haggis is. I'm just very intrigued by the different flavor combinations that one can make. And it's coming together quite nicely. There's still some that's not cooked, but I'm sure it will change. I'm sure it'll change and I'm sure it'll be wonderful. This will taste fine. That's the joy of experimenting. You never know what you're going to get until you actually put something on the plate. And you know what? For, for topping, I think I might go with a nice sauce. I'm not going to make this sauce because I'm not that skilled. But I think some sweet and sour sauce sauce do nicely for this. It'll just it'll help things. Oh, 
Let's have another look for a hamburger. Mmm, still pink in places. Still pink. Still pink in a few places, but it's coming along. Should be done fairly quickly. Now, as I've said, there's a six bean mix in here. Butter, butter flavored, or margarine flavored stuffing. Peppers and mushrooms that have also been sauteed in margarine. And it may not look very attractive, but I'm sure it tastes wonderful. Which is the important thing, you must look beyond the initial appearance of food, of people, of everything. Wait till you see what it can give you. Wait till you see the beauty inside of it. Wait till you see its potential, because everything's got it. Now let's check the I hope the hamburger's getting going soon. It's very hot. I'm not seeing pink. No. And you know what? I think it's done. Excellent. So I'll just take it off and put it in the drainer, in the strainer. And while it's draining, we're going to wash that cloth. Wash some of our other minor dishes. I can't exactly do right now because my hand is. And it looks pretty done to me. So we're going to dump it in. So I'm mixing it with great care so that it falls out because I don't like messes in my kitchen any more than necessary. There it is. And now we dish it up. Of course. Since it's like a stew. Got to be sure to get a little bit of everything in there. Too much of anything. Not too much at a time, but it's all essential that you get everything in it.
And see that is what you get. Yummy, eh? And then to cool it and to flavor it even more. You give it a good dose of sweet and sour sauce. Should taste quite good. See, here it is. And that is that for this cooking episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure what I'm going to call this yet, but it's definitely edible and it's definitely worth trying for yourselves. Now, don't be afraid to experiment, but experiment wisely. And this only applies to cooking for other facets of life you need. You need to go about everything wisely, cooking everything. If it looks wrong, don't do it. If it may, if you can put it into something right, in terms of cooking, try it. You never know. But if it looks wrong, don't do it. Be careful with your experimenting, especially in cooking. Anyway, see you all later.